Chief Minister Nitish Kumar will face a trust vote tomorrow, days after the JDU's messy split with the BJP in Bihar. He is expected to get through with support from independents and a likely abstention from the Congress. Nitish's decision to leave the NDA was prompted by the fear that the projection of Narendra Modi as the next leader of the alliance would scare away Muslim votes and hurt his vote bank. But what is this Muslim vote bank everyone keeps talking about? Does it even exist? As separation banks continue to divide the BJP and the JDU in Bihar, the question to be asked is whether the JDU will manage to consolidate the Muslim vote bank behind it after its decision to break away from the BJP over the issue of Narendra Modi. It's a question that has the BJP worried too. But the bigger question to be asked perhaps is whether there is any such thing as a Muslim vote. In Patna's predominantly Muslim Sabzi Bagh area, Nitish Kumar's move to break ties with the BJP seems to have the wholehearted support of residents. Retired school teacher Abdul Ghani and shopkeeper Abuzar Rizvi have lived here for decades now. The Vidhan Sabha seat for the area is held by the BJP. Muslim pockets like Sabzi Bagh have traditionally seen a three-way split between the JDU, Congress and the RJD. JDU But whatever be Nitish Kumar's political calculations, do Muslims really vote on block and think alike when it comes to electoral politics? Aaj har aadmi hai na samajhdar hai. Ab koi kisi ka support hai, koi hai na JDU ka support hai, koi RJD ka support hai, koi Congress ka support hai. To different type ke log hai. To it natural hai na kisi ka pas dabaud nahi dal sakte hai. Muslim bhai yaad aa raha hai logo. Sab dal ko Muslim yaad aa raha hai. Saath chua kha ke ahaj karne hi chale. Muslim yaad aa raha hai. Analysts say treating the Muslims as one block where everyone votes the same way is dangerous. This myth has been created both by Muslim communalists and by Hindu communalists and by the secular parties also and unfortunately by the media also because it suits everybody to see everything in black and white. You, you want to see Muslims in a stereotype. You don't want to see Muslim as a person. Questions are also being raised on whether the BJP will now raise the pitch on the Hindutva plank. Now that there is no alliance with the JDU in Bihar. That is a purely wrong assumption. The BJP has a very impeccable record of good governance, inclusive growth. In Gujarat, the Muslims' growth is the highest in the country. Narendra Modi is a leader of impeccable integrity. And so in the coming days, the 83 million Muslim population in Bihar can perhaps expect major overtures from all political parties in the state. But is it fair to assume, as most political parties do, that Muslims vote as a bloc? In Patna, with camera person Habib Ali, Alok Pandey, NDTV. So we're talking about the alleged myth of the Muslim vote. Does a Muslim vote bank exist? Joining us tonight, you saw Shahid Siddiqui, the editor of Naidunya, and our story there saying, no, it does not. It's something that's conveniently used by everyone for their own uh, political ends and means. We have Sabir Ali, Rajya Sabha MP of the JDU, Mr. Kamal Farooqi, senior leader of the Samajwadi Party. Also with us, Sudhan Trivedi, national spokesperson of the BJP, and from the Congress Party, Professor Om Prakash Mishra, member of the All India Congress Committee, joins us tonight from Kolkata. Mr. Siddiqui, let me ask you to elaborate on what you were saying there, because you essentially have said that the Muslim vote bank is a myth, that opportunistic politicians, as you've written, are projecting Muslims as a monolithic vote bank and it doesn't exist and that Muslims are as, as divided as Hindus on caste lines. It's a very interesting argument. Can you elaborate? Not, not only caste line, you see, regionally, uh, economically, socially, they are a very, very diverse group. In fact, even before 1947, Muslims never and bloc voted for Muslim League. Muslim League never got more than 50% of the Muslim vote anywhere. So this, this myth has been created because it, the, the Hindu communalists justify its com communalism by saying there is a Muslim vote bank, therefore there should be a Hindu vote bank. And, and Muslim communalists say, assert that we have a Muslim vote bank and therefore they ask for concessions for themselves, not for the community. They, they, they emerge as the takedars of Muslims and, and bargain with the various political parties and secular parties have been creating this fear of uh, you know Muslim vote bank both ways uh, on the one hand they fear create, create this fear to get the Hindu votes and on the other hand they tell the Muslims that look if you do not vote for us and block then there will be a Narendra Modi there will be a BJP so fear psychosis is played on continuously for the last 64 years which is unfortunate that in a democracy like India you play the politics of fear and 
Before that, I come to that, has been happening. okay. But bef before I come to that, uh, let me ask you another question. Then, in the case of the Nitish Kumar split with the BG BJP over Narendra Modi, do you not believe yeah. that if Mr. Modi is projected as the leader of the NDA, it would genuinely scare off uh, Muslims in this country, as is the general theory? Or you think that even then, uh, Muslims would you know not vote on uh, mass? Look, Muslims voted for Nitish Kumar in spite of the fact that Nitish Kumar supported the uh, Gujarat. After the Gujarat riots, he was very much the uh, railway minister. He was very much there. Mamta Banerjee joined hands with BJP, was with the NDA, and she went back. It was Muslim vote which brought about the change in Bengal. Nothing else. The 26% Muslim vote was unseated CPM's 30 years rule. So m Muslims uh, do not, you know, behave as if, you know. Uh, they, they are a group which, uh, of sheep which can be, you know, taken in one direction because of fear, because the wolf is coming. Don't show this wolf. Modi, they dislike Modi, they don't want Modi, but they will not, they are very political, co politically conscious people and they want to vote according to their interest, not just because somebody says because that Modi is there, therefore you should vote for us. Okay, that, that is let, not me, working, let me take that, that to the work. JDU, Sabir Ali. Mr. Ali, how do you respond to that, that you're, you're playing on a fear psychosis, that this is cynical politics in a sense I think that's what Mr. Siddiqui is saying and he's right uh, when you were in this NDA when you were partners with the BJP then also Muslims did vote for you uh, Nidhi I, we are never denied what happens in the 2002 or 2003 he was a railway minister again again we are saying that he has performed he has delivered his duty very honestly and dedicatedly as a railway minister he was working as a indian railway minister not as a gujarat railway minister he was working under atal bihari bajpayee not under the uh, narendra modi you have to see while saying you can make any permutation and combinations uh, nobody is there here to defend any things we are here to talk the realistic and which is the factual so i would like to say he is my elder brother mr siddiqui he has been advocated a lot of things earlier in the past. I am not going to in that debate. I would like to say is Nitish Kumar is a believer in the social engineering and shows the end the constitution of this country. And he is the person who has been leader and guided always. And he is the face of the people who are the poor and all community caste and combinations and to look after the but why don't you answer mr shai siddiqui's criticism that that, uh, that even Nothing a party like the that. jdu assumes that the muslims will all muslims will vote in a particular way because of a certain uh, you know uh, fear psychosis that you know the oh that mr modi is going to come and therefore you know all muslims will vote in a particular way why don't you respond to that criticism mr ali i'm i'm that's why i'm talking about we have saying about Mr. Modi, not today. In from 2005, as we came in the power, Nitish Kumar has not allowed a single time as a campaigner in Bihar. Why the BJP has not realized at that time, at point of time? And we are saying continuously, the person who has a spot and the person who has a mind, sigma, who can not judge the people, who cannot give the people platform equally of this country, cannot be. And it can be not be the rule of this country. He cannot even take a charge for the fighter and as a soldier, as a soldier uh, head. Okay, and so that's you, why you we are believe, talking you believe Mr. Modi would sway half, the Muslim vote in a particular way? Modi, because you, he has been spotted. Okay, and it's not a matter of right. Just Kamal, let, let me get let Kamal me Faruqi in here. I'm Kamal. not talking about the riot. It is a matter of discriminations knowingly and used their own. All okay. officers against the one community.